if you're trying to open up an Apple Watch, you'll have noticed that it is very, very difficult to do. Now, I think that this technique might be the number one way to do it. Obviously, make sure that your Apple Watch is turned off. This one is and place it on a heat mat for the next five to 10 minutes. So after it's had five to 10 minutes on a heat mat, you're gonna to wanna to get one of these things. This is a Dorco blade. It's a very flexible razor blade. Now they come and they're two-sided, but you can snap them in half once we open it up. Let me show you. I've already snapped this one in half so that you get one side of it like that. Now what a lot of people don't know is that you can fold this and you can snap it in half again like that so just fold it the other way and now we've got two very nice little prying tools this might not come out the best on video but you see how it's curved like that we're going to use that on the curved edge of the screen and what we're going to do we're just going to insert it into the gap between the bezel sorry not the bezel of the watch the edge of the glass and the edge of the chassis and then we're going to do it on the other side as well it's really awkward, I know. I've got really, not really big hands, but big hands and they're getting in the way. So I'm gonna make sure that that's flat in there like that. And that's flat in there like that. And then all we're gonna do, we're gonna just sort of pry it to pop it out. And you're just gonna pry like that and sort of slide it underneath. And once you're underneath it, you've created your gap. This ain't gonna break. You can, if you want to, Add some isopropyl alcohol, and that's gonna help it along. What you don't wanna be doing is touching this bottom edge because that's where the um, cable attaches. But once you've sort of broke the seal, you can just run the blade around the edge, only a couple of millimeters, and it's literally cutting the adhesive, what's under there. And we're gonna run it around. They just, they are awkward, and they just, they don't come off well. I'll do the same on this bottom edge. And you can see that we've got a small gap there. We'll get a bit more alcohol in it. And we'll just continue cutting until eventually this thing is gonna come away from the chassis. I'm using my fingernail. You can use a guitar pick or something like that. The bottom edge is always the worst because we don't wanna cut. If you do, are tempted to, be warned that it can cut the UFS cable, I think it's called, the OLED cable. But you only want to go in just a couple of millimeters just to open it up so that you can push it off just like that and now we're into this watch the same rules apply to just about all models of apple watch just be very careful on the series 7 and onwards because they've got like a plastic mid frame attached to the glass what makes it a little bit more difficult but it's even more important to do it like that so that's how you remove an apple watch screen